Get Sabas Radio coming to you now. Welcome to the Guitar Boss Podcast with Richard Constable and Josh Gillis. All right, let's go, team. So today we're <laughs> going to talk about <laughs> going to talk about building tribes, building tribes, building congregations, building a following, essentially, um, for your guitar school. And I think the first step with building this kind of, uh, I know Russell Brunson goes on about culture and you know, building your culture, culture. Mm-hmm. Um, and it all kind of starts with having a name. What is, you know, what can you call yourselves? You know, I am a X, you know, insert thing. So I am a guitar student, you know, is one thing, but, you know, with the guitar bosses, you know, our, our students say, um, I am a guitar boss, you know, I'm a boss either on the guitar or I I run a guitar school. I am a boss, you know, I'm a guitar boss. So it's something to identify with. So it's, it's really, really powerful. And, you know, when you, when you think about congregations and people coming together, there's always a name for those people, for those groups of people. You identify with specific things. And some people want to identify with things. Like I'm a, let's just say music wise, I'm a, grunge fan i'm a nirvana fan i'm a punk it's like when you say i'm a punk like as soon as you say that word punk it just marries in with all the theology and all the you know things that punk music speaks about well in its raw form maybe not the pop punk which is a bit more watered down but in the anti dismiss tabloidarianism if i can even get that word out you know that's what em- embodies punk music so when you wear the tartan trousers and you've got the um mohawk spikes and stuff and you're wearing your doc martin boots I'm, it's maybe sounding very british right now i don't know how many u.s punks i'm sure there's loads but um you know they identify with this thing and when you say i am a thing and everything that goes with it then you know it it just binds you together you know if you say i'm a christian and i go to church i'm a muslim i go to the mosque i'm a guitar player and a guitar student who goes to josh gillis guitar lessons.com then uh <laughs> you know that's what they identify with and if you can water that down into like a phrase or like a two word thing or even a single word you know you can say you're a guitarist but if you can add like something within it I'm a guitar practicer. Uh, you know, it sounds a bit lame, but if you can put it on a t-shirt, essentially, in a couple of words and people understand what it is or or are curious about it, at least as long as it's got the word guitar in potentially, then that's something you can identify with. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's it, man. Uh, the example I kind of wrote down, one similar to the punks, I just wrote hipster. Like you say the word hipster, a certain kind of image kind of comes to mind. Yeah. Um, but then I wrote like a, a local example. So, you know, here in the States, American football is huge. And um, I'm in the southern, southeastern part of the States, but up north, you have a uh, state of Wisconsin and mm. they have a professional football team, the Green Bay Packers, right? Nice. And Wisconsin is known for making just some of the best cheese. And um, so a lot of the people that go to the stadiums to watch football, they put on these big triangle pieces of cheese <laughs> on their head and they're, they're known as cheese heads but they're just they're, they're green bay fans right yeah yeah and so uh but same thing with the culture oh you're a cheese head so you're yeah. a green bay packers fan so yeah, same yeah. thing you're part of the identity part of the culture yeah. uh and all that kind of thing so yeah yeah super important yeah it's incredible yeah over here football or soccer as you call it is huge and um you know if you're uh I'm trying to think of all the names now. I've gone blank. But if you're a Chelsea fan, Chelsea Football Club, then you're you're a blue. Um, and there's lots of sub, uh, what do they call it, terminology, where if you say certain phrases or words, your, your tribe are going to identify with that as well. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, if you know the songs and the chants that the football uh fans actually sing some of them are polite some not so polite Um, and if you say certain words you'll know that they're talking about that song so like liverpool football club have you'll never walk alone um 
which is their big anthem that they sing when you know they're just trying to rally rally the fans to have that rallying cry and if you can have that jingle as soon as you say you never walk alone or i'm a red um or like man united have the red devils it's like i'm the red devil um mm -hmm. and as soon as you say alex ferguson for example who's the biggest manager for man united or probably the i think he's the most decorated football or soccer manager in the uk um as soon as you say ferguson you know it just creates you know a feeling in someone mm -hmm. um so if you can come up um with your own words for things and have that terminology in your guitar school then it can be really powerful even if it's like it doesn't have to necessarily be guitar related you could say oh, i want my i want my group of people to be encouraging i don't want them to be like you know hating on each other or you don't want any little bits of bullying to come up so you might say okay spread the love <laughs> or spread the sparkle or spread the you know something spread you know encourage one another <laughs> <laughs> or you know just like you know repeatable phrases if you can come up with your own words which isn't too out out there then that can be really powerful like mm. bring the cheese <laughs> it sounds it sounds silly yeah. but you could yeah. say yeah i want you to bring the cheese today and it's, it sounds silly but if people know that means yeah i'm going to bring it today um then there's power in that and you could have mm -hmm. bring the cheese and people are like well what does that mean and it's just like oh yeah and it has a guitar mm -hmm. on it. it's just like well, what and then there's questions and curiosity and it kind of brings them in that's right that's right most people <laughs> a, a lot of this stuff comes organic organically it's usually like a side comment someone says that just sticks and yeah. you know one of the, one of the one of my favorite business guys to listen to is alex hormozzi and he's, he was a funnel hacker guy too, but he, um, uh, he, he did gym launch and all these other things. Now he does acquisition.com. I guess I'm plugging him without even trying, but that's kind of the point is that you, you identify with certain people. You just talk about it because you yeah. resonate with it. And yeah, so yeah. for him, it's his last name is Hormozy, but someone probably at some point said Mosey nation. And so yeah. sometimes he'll just say, all right, Mosey nation, but he's talking <laughs> to a group of people that identify as that, yeah. um, as that audience or whatever. And so, uh, yeah. but yeah, so community, community is huge. And, uh, one of the biggest, you know, used to be Facebook groups was the thing, um, and still is, and still has merit, but now, uh, everything is moving toward discord, um, oh, yeah, to, yeah. to build community. And so, yeah. you know, wanted to mention that because, uh, you know, and usually Facebook groups, uh, for these bigger businesses, they, they realize that that is a good culture for, one, one to build the culture and community, but two, it's a, it's a lead generation machine. It's a free group. You jump in, you kind of introduce people hopefully they might get interested in what you're doing have questions about it buy your products that kind of thing yeah. um discord a similar thing but it seems to be more um a little more organic in the sense of these conversations that are happening um you know not not the people trill they still shill their stuff and try to get you know a lot of people poach you know clients and stuff like that i'm sure all, all that stuff still goes in on there but for the most part it's a little more a little more personable it seems like um and you can have so, those subsections on the side so you could have you know introduction so this these are the rules of the group and then the next one is like general chats and the next one could be more specific like new lesson or mm -hmm. i've just learned this today type things yeah you can even have like um, frequently asked questions or, or whatever you can you can yeah, really be exactly with it. we weekly wins what's going on like you know yeah. that kind of stuff you know yeah. um yeah so different channels within the main chat there's like a general chat area but then all these little sub channels of stuff and yeah. uh the one that i am a part of uh in the nft world was gary vaynerchuk's and v friends and so mm. i'm in their discord um fairly often just a couple times a week just checking in on what's going on using announcements but they have a great framework of sub channels and stuff a lot of people talk about gaming well there's a channel for that a lot of people talk about business well, there's a channel for that too then there's yeah. a general catch-all chat too but then you know depending on what nfts you have you have different channels of nft talks and that kind of stuff and mm. if you have certain N nfts that unlocks certain rooms that only that nft can unlock and so yeah. and so there's some exclusivity but there's a massive inclusivity in that sense mm. but 
within that you can still jump in some other groups uh of similar people so it's it's, it's a it's, great it's, it's, it's a great channel it, it just reminded me of like that gaming type thing when uh you're you everyone can get the game but then if you want to get through all the levels you have to pass through whatever the game makes you do but back in the day you used to have cheat codes <laughs> oh yeah so it's kind of like the cheat codes and you know if you want to get through this door then you know you just use the cheat codes and suddenly or if you want unlimited ammunition or whatever the silly thing was um you could just go ahead and do that with the nft but obviously you have to purchase that it's, it's not quite as cheeky as cheat codes but it just reminded me if you want to get from you know, if this is your starting point and your vehicle's trying to take you to this point, you know, playing guitar or getting more students or whatever it is, um, mm -hmm. your NFTs can can give access to that kind of thing. Yeah. NFT coming soon, guitar bus. <laughs> yeah, y'all get ready, man. It's happening. It's happening whether you like it or not. So, yeah, uh, yeah. Exactly. more on that later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to go into Kmart one day and it's going to be um you can only you can pay with nfts today so <laughs> <laughs> that's right. be like that's nft right. coupons you know what i mean i mean they basically have it already you could you probably uh, have an app for there might be a walmart app or something i imagine and you can uh, get coupons through that yeah they I'm still sure, do i'm print, sure there is they, they still do print out coupons but i'm sure you know anyway oh yeah yeah, and for, for your sure. guitar school we could do it for like um for the next concert the christmas concert you can get the the christmas N nft and if you pay whatever your christmas concert fee is 10 bucks 20 bucks then you could get that nft mm -hmm. <laughs> all you That's have it, to do man. is is buy some eth <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And pay the gas fees and... <laughs> yeah that's it man but no that's yeah, we'll have to do a whole podcast on the NFTs because it's so fascinating. I just did Stephen Larson's uh, Buy Your First NFT Challenge thing, yeah. five-day deal, and learned a ton. And obviously, as with any five-day challenge, it's to <laughs> prep people to buy whatever you're selling at the end. Um, yeah. Of course, he's selling his capitalist pig NFT, which I did buy one. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but more than that, it was a great training and framework on how you would do it for your business. And, yeah. and for us, how we would do it guitar boss and present that and okay now you have a guitar boss nft well great now you have digital access to this whole section of our video training on exactly mm. what you need to do and this other level of nft gives you access to all the templates we have for you where it's just a plug and chug your own business to get these incoming students and yeah so it's just it's all about the utility behind it and the artwork could be cool it could suck it doesn't really matter it, <laughs> what matters is the utility behind it and so yeah, yeah. exactly but the artwork is, yeah, I I quite like visual. I quite like artwork. <laughs> so yeah. if it does look kind of cool, even if it's like a funny looking donkey or something, <laughs> as long as it's yeah. like colorful and looks kind of cool, like, you know, anyway. Tribe. Anyway, <laughs> congregations, build your tribe. These are all little things you can do to create community, NFTs, Discord channels facebook groups whatever your channel is just focus on one and um and post in there every day if you can you know if you have the energy for that it was it's a really really powerful thing people will interact with you and if they don't that's fine as well they at least they know you're there you're, you're front of mind um and you know it's, it's easy for people just to go about their daily lives and just completely forget about you but if you're offering value every day it can be huge huge value a uh, huge huge uh, benefits to yourself if they're like one day the parents that like, are oh, struggling to get little jimmy to practice then you could be like and you suddenly come on it's just like oh it's your kid struggling to practice try this little trick and they try and it works that could be a little nugget that you know the peg in the tent kind of thing that keeps the tent up and keeps them as a customer with you and you can keep impacting them and you know anyway any final thoughts josh no, that's it. Just echo everything you said there at the end, man. It's all about it's all about community. That's what's going to pull you to from one level to the next. That's what's going to support you. Definitely be active wherever you are. Build your community, whether it's Facebook, like you said, or Discord. Just be active and and engage and actually care. I mean, yeah, this is not just a place to foster 
future buyers. I mean, this is your <laughs> tribe, your community, take the money part out of your head. Just say, look, these are my people and yeah, yeah, and man. I care about them and I want them to succeed and, uh, and genuinely care. And, you know, for example, like the discord of Gary Vaynerchuk, like he's in there posting pretty much every day, if not every two to three days, like he's super busy, but he still responds personally to people. And, you know, but that's, that's the, that's what it takes to actually do yeah. it well, you know? Yeah. So just do it well. If you're going to do it, just do it well. He, he said when he had his um, wine blog, I think he started, that's how he started on the internet. He was blogging about wine. Mm -hmm. And he, he said he just used to spend all day answering comments. If someone said what wine goes best with fish, he would say white wine, try this. If it, you know, he would get that question all the time, what wine goes best with red meat? red wine <laughs> mm -hmm. and he just sat there answering that over and over and over and over again uh, to connect with people to show it was active and you know that's that's the power of it i mean he might have a team now potentially uh, helping him with that but sure. I'm, I'm sure it is him anyway guitarbus.co um the software that you need to be successful <laughs> in the guitar school world <laughs> Um, I've been Richard Constable, and you've been Josh Gillis. <laughs> Hope to see you on the next one, and peace out. Take care.